Hello, everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. Um, uh, first of all, uh, I wish you really a very good year for a year to come and for the rest of your life. Uh, here in the state where I am, we have about 30 minutes for supposedly to the new year. However, it doesn't matter really. Um, I was watching the news and see how the world celebrating uh, the new, new year of the Lord. And it was funny that how Muslim countries spend a lot of money for the new year, but yet they hate the Christmas and they start, they try to forbid the Christmas, like Malaysia. Uh, I saw how they are spending too much lights in, in, uh, in Malaysia, but yet supposedly they are fighting the, the Christmas. And anyway. I hope time will go uh, safe. Uh, still here, you know, my town is a crazy town. And here, people do not use firework. They use firearms. So in 30 minutes from now, you will see crazy stuff here. So if you hear guns shutting, crazy guns, don't be afraid. Um, welcome to America. And, you know, they take advantage because uh, the police cannot stop people for very simple reason. I mean, there's no way the police can go after everybody. Yeah. Yeah, nobody here use fair work. Heavy guns machine, you will see. Anyway, I hope they will, I hope they will not do that, you know. I mean, it's silly, but what you can do. No, it doesn't matter if you go out or not. I am next to the window. Anyway, I'm not a person who get afraid of from uh, you see guys uh, through my life I've been through a lot of uh, risk and the funny I know people who used to hide from it and they are the one who die and the one who did not hide from it They are the one who live So that's not really my concern for sure uh, You know you have to be smart and not to be stupid um, You remember before uh, few hours ago we were talking about not to go out at night and not to dress wrongly and etc and then like especially if you are a female and you go and you, you dress very short to clothes and you get drunk and then you want to go back home at 4 a.m. in the morning I noticed somebody in the text he said oh you are playing the victim and I find it very funny that somebody saying that you see if you became a victim because of your foolishness doesn't mean we don't blame the criminals for being criminals, but the criminal is there anyway. You choose to be his victim because you you told him, hey, I'm here. I'm weak, I'm alone, I'm a female, and I'm wearing very inviting clothes, and I am drunk. So we are not inviting, you know, we are not uh, blaming the victim, but we are playing, uh, blaming foolishness. If you decide to be a fool, then, you know, get ready. There is a criminals everywhere. You don't go out. You see, me, myself, I am a man. I don't go right now. Why am I going to go the street now? It's crazy now. Who is going to be outside now? People get drunk. People get crazy. I mean, why want I go out? I don't find a reason for that. So if you go out and then you get find, you find yourself in trouble, I mean, this is your problem, right? So... Uh, you know, we say, uh, the, okay, well, she is a victim. Yes, she is a victim, but she she can avoid that. Be smart. The Bible says well, you have to be smart. We have to be vigilant. And we have to be peaceful at the same time. But you go and you go to a night club full of drunk people and people taking drugs. You know, a person who takes drugs, he don't even see you as a, as, a, as a human being. He see you maybe as a rabbit. <laughs> you never know. You know what I mean? You, you might think you are associating with a person who looks like a human, but maybe he don't see you like a human now because he is under drugs. People who take drugs, they are in different world. They are they are in different stage. They look like us. They are human like us. They are people like us, but they are not, not anymore in their normal, you know, behavior. So you have to be careful. You know, there is risk everywhere. There's a druggy people everywhere. There's a criminals everywhere. And if you put yourself in the wrong time, wrong place, and then you complain about what happened to you, well, complain to yourself. It's going to be too late, right? This is what we want. We, you know, we were we, what we are saying. 
uh, we want we don't want anyone to get hurt and we are not saying that if you are a victim that's mean it's your we blame you but we blame ourselves for a wrong decision you know uh, like imagine I want to go and preach the gospel or talk about Muhammad in the uh, in ISIS territory I mean obviously I'm seeking death correct you have to be smart so uh, if they kill me I mean I, I told them come and kill me I just I went there so you have you have to be smart my friend all right you have to be smart uh, every one of us can can you know can uh, me myself by the way I have a I have my own sense like I don't know how it work it's hard to explain to you but my sense never been wrong I mean I feel it's my if I feel something wrong I don't do it as simple as that if I feel even if there's nothing appear to be wrong in it if I feel there is something wrong I just stay away from it it doesn't matter what it is even if it's appeared to be the best you know and you know thanks God always I do the right thing uh, but you know uh, all of us we face we face a lot of uh, risk in our life sometime temptation you know we you can be tempted you know me as a single man I can be tempted you know someone she is beautiful she might talk to you um, or you as a you know as a young lady or uh, you know we, we get tempted so we have to be we have to be careful about where we go and if you find there is something wrong you know we stay away because wrong is very easy the right is very hard you know uh, so we have to be careful and we have to uh, you know be really vigilant okay well thank you for those who are making donation I really appreciate your your donation all right today we will pay for uh, for the heating bill <laughs> You know, two years ago, I don't I don't mind to share my a little of my private life. Two years ago, I have a problem in the in the gas line, and I could not repair it. It was the worst year ever. It was a freezing cold, and my gas line was wasn't working. And sometimes it is it is uh, it's good to feel how it is what it's mean to be really poor. You know. Uh, because no nobody nobody will feel what it's meant to be poor <clears throat> unless you become one at least for a day or two or a year or god knows how long uh, most of us we, we are celebrating now a new year but i i you know for me myself i would like to celebrate every day appreciation for what the lord provide us uh, there's many they cannot afford to have a normal life like you know for us what is normal today for some people is like a dream um, you know those who live in the state they are lucky but yet American they don't really feel how lucky they are they think the whole world is America um, in America if you leave a TV a big screen TV in the, in the street nobody even pick it up but in some other countries until now people don't even have a light you know I saw houses I saw people sleeping inside the tire you know the tire for a car literally tires in the side of the street they sleep inside it they they they, they, they like they put themselves inside the, the the tire and they sleep inside the tire so you know if we start if we start a new year we should appreciate what we have because maybe some of us think that they have little but the fact we have a lot and appreciation is the best way you know to to enjoy your life if you are a person who don't appreciate you will never you will never enjoy anything it doesn't matter how much money you have it doesn't matter what do you accomplish you will never be happy a person who don't appreciate today he own a house tomorrow he want to own a villa but he own a villa he found himself no a villa is not enough he want to own a palace then he worked like a donkey for the coming 20 years and then he own a palace and then when he own a palace he found that palace 
you have a friend he own a big pal bigger palace than his palace so you know appreciation is a is a treasure and appreciation not only of material appreciation of people around us like I appreciate all of you and I don't know how many of you appreciate me but appreciation is very very important for life to live and to enjoy it uh, and the biggest problem in, in, in our life is that we don't really have appreciation we have just a, a, let us say a goal but not few they have the goal of appreciation I don't know if what I'm saying is clear but if you ask anyone what do you want to do for the coming year you know everybody have an appreciation I mean a, a goal of accomplishing something but how many they want or they have a goal of appreciation I mean very few you know because people don't think about it you know uh, <clears throat> and the other day I was looking in my window and I saw a deer under the tree it was a freezing cold outside and I said to myself look how beautiful this deer but yet he is stronger than me if I stay outside for one hour now for sure I will be dead so the deer he should appreciate what he have and me as a human I should appreciate what I have now maybe it's funny to say that deer should appreciate because he's an animal right but I guarantee you that still he appreciate we are all creatures of God and we, we we feel it we feel that we you know we have something we have a gift so you look at the bird who live out today this night in this cold and yet he can survive and you know we are wearing clothes and we are inside the house and if the heater is not working we are in trouble uh, so you know try to enjoy your life through appreciation and see things maybe you don't notice in your life it's like you know human being he, he would not notice how much lucky he is to have teeth until he lose them you know what i mean like all your life have teeth but suddenly when you lose your teeth you will remember how priceless is to have a teeth right or you have a you have a pain in your teeth like you you're, you're always happy with them and suddenly you have a pain in your teeth so suddenly you remember how it is good to have a healthy teeth but usually we don't appreciate having teeth right I mean it's there who cares it's like come on like who is even going to remember that thank God I have teeth you know but a little te tooth he will make you go crazy if you have pain so appreciation is good and it's beautiful and then maintain a good health for your brain and for your spirit so if you are a married man appreciate your wife if you are married women appreciate your husband appreciate your family even all of us we have bad and good but sometime you know uh, even the bad can can work for good you know there is there is many things in, in life we think it is bad but it might be good at the end so try to appreciate and try to turn what is bad to be good for you I am not going for holiday. I don't go for holiday, my friend. Holiday is for rich people. Uh, anyway, uh, <clears throat> your husband is what? The little acting tooth. <laughs> that's a good one <laughs> see some people they have a lot of sense of humor uh, anyway uh, always you know always when when you uh, when you woke up in the morning try to see things around you in different way uh, for me uh, you know I, I enjoy every day in my life I, but the most I enjoy is somebody sending me a message saying I left Islam uh, because this is what I do and you know that this is my mission and this is why I, I called the video today how many would leave Islam in the year 2019 because of our videos and I say that our videos because people copy my videos and that make them their videos you know because when you copy the video and you paste you post the video somewhere 
in YouTube or Facebook somebody watch it somebody leave Islam that's mean you are the one who help that person to leave this cult so yes it's our video not my video uh, we pray that we will have more and more people leaving this year actually was very successful for me a lot of Muslims at Islam I cannot even count it's very hard to count uh, and uh, like I can I can speak of those who I know them I mean they contacted me but God knows how many they left Islam they never contacted me no uh, our videos is very very strong and very uh, effective and uh, it's it's doing great job same time we are arming the Christians with knowledge so nobody can fool your child I remember many years ago you know uh, if you remember like uh, you know when the Muslims start making fun of uh, of us as Christian worship a man so I launch uh, let us say uh, I don't know what they call it a campaign it's called Allah the leg I don't know who, who of you remember so I focus for a few months speaking about Allah the leg and then one day I was uh, I was watching a video in YouTube and I saw comments down there a Muslim guy he said uh, you worship a man and then a Christian person he said you worship a leg so I became curious to know who is this person who is saying you worship a leg and I click at the picture it was like a, a kid he's maybe 10 years old and I was really happy to see that a Christian kid at this age now he is able to silence the Muslims before we do not know what to say to them you know you say to them okay Jesus is he's a man but he's God in the same time etc but because you do not know much about how to silence them and now we find a child he is 10 years old very very like he looked uh, even he was uh, like uh, in the picture I think he was doing something to his nose it's funny so uh, I was happy to see a Christian child ever you know able to uh, to to silence the Muslims with their madness when they accuse Jesus to how to be God but yet they are worshiping a, a, a God who is a leg he have five fingers he have uh, I mean madness and yet until now we could not find a Muslim to tell us who is even Allah every day every day we witness how the Muslims they are suffering from this ability to explain who is God now guys do you like this picture on the screen should I change it or good I like this dear very beautiful you know once <laughs> during your Christmas time I went I went uh, uh, outside and I saw a deer like this all right but I thought it's a toy okay I went outside and I saw a deer in front of the yard of my my neighbor and I was saying man how they can do it this way I mean it look look real because he was not moving <laughs> you know I was saying man how they can do that it look really real and he have he's a male one he the one he have like the the you know the things in the top so I was looking at him how beautiful and I want to get close to him to touch to see how they can do that you know because really really he is not moving at all and then I step like a few step to him and suddenly he jumped like crazy yeah and you know those those uh, those uh, those can kill you as they are not a joke you know they, they can chase you they can kill you so it was like what <laughs> It was a funny time. This is what happened to you when you are an Arab in the snow. Okay, just remember that. Anyway, so it was a, it was like, uh, and until now I remember how I was looking at him and he is looking at me. But for me, because you know the the deer when they, when they get scared, they freeze. They don't move. You know. So he's so close to me. Suddenly I saw him, and suddenly he saw me. But for me, I thought really, really, this is a toy yeah anyway <laughs> exactly an Arab in the snow yeah um, and you know there's one thing I don't like about what I do if you go on my Skype you will see how the Christians are schooling me about how to talk to Muslims 
Like today, a guy, he said to me, why do you keep calling the Muslims ignorant? I mean, this is one of the funny things I notice about Christians. I love you, all of you, but please, for, for God's sake, don't do that to me. I know how to talk to them. If you think I am not talking in the right way, do better than me. Open your own YouTube channel and talk to them in your own way. And I pray that you will do better than me and you will bring more Muslims out of Islam. But you are upset because I'm calling Muslims ignorant. Well, they are ignorant. You know? Sometime you might you might make fun of me for saying a word in English in the wrong way. Well, I am ignorant in English. What's wrong with that? You see? There is ignorance can sometimes bring shame. And there is ignorance, it's not a big deal. You know, English is not my first language, and I did not really um, you know, even American they make mistakes in English. Uh, but it's very strange that most of people who want to teach you how to talk to Muslims, they themselves, they never brought someone who is a Muslim out of Islam. But yet they don't hesitate to send you messages. It says, we as a Christian, we should not talk to Muslims like this. Okay, how we should talk to them? Give me a hug? What exactly? What do you want me to do? You know? Yeah, my English is very good to, to, to understand as long as I'm not writing handwriting. If I write handwriting, me, myself, I will not be able to read it <laughs> after I write it. Anyway, so uh, can you speak German? For sure. I mean, how in the world I will speak German? If I speak German, I would, I would drive the, the German people crazy. You know? Uh, well, I know, like you see, there's something people do not understand, that in order to speak to somebody, you need to understand his culture. Um, you know, for every every culture, they have different uh, different rules and different understanding and different logic. So let me make it simple for you. We read from right to left. You read from left to right. And this is exactly how we think. We think the opposite of what you think. So the problem is, people that try to read me from left to right. And that will not work. So what the Western do, they apply their culture, trying to understand Arab or Muslims from Pakistan, or from India, or from whatever, you know? It doesn't work this way. You have to understand how people think, and then you speak to them in their own way, not in your own way. You see, in America, if you put your feet in the table speaking to somebody, it's not a big deal. In the Middle East, if you do it, they will shoot you dead in the spot. So you better know how you talk to people and how, in the Middle East, if you are very kind, people, they think you are weak. They will take advantage of you. They will think uh, we can intimidate you. Intimidation in the Middle East is a lifestyle. Is not a temporary thing. So, if you are a person who can intimidate, if you notice when uh, when Hijab was debating David Wood, what he was trying to do, he was trying his best to make a mockery to intimidate. Uh, David Wood, he was not doing the same because simply that guy is coming from Egypt and this guy is coming from America. And they are totally thinking different way. And this is why people thought, okay, this guy is successful because he was able to intimidate. He was, was making a mockery, you know. Um, this is why they cannot do the mockery with me. Who dare to do mockery with a Christian prince? You know that. He cannot do that. Uh, so we need to understand how those people they speak and what they want and what they want to say next you know debating Muslims is like playing chess but you have you have to have a few steps in advance most of us we as a Christians we do one step backward not forward as an example a Muslim he asks you the Bible is corrupt what do you do 
you start quoting for him verses and you start saying to him we have manuscript etc etc but this guy he heard this a thousand times before you think you would do better than the one before you so there is something better to do hit him hard from his own belief and then he cannot say to you I don't believe you you know what I mean I think you're a fire sign what does that mean I don't believe in those stuff <clears throat> This is a, this is pagan things, my friend. What fire sign and what that sign? Anyway, uh, so right away when the Muslim he speak to you about something, think, think what he's trying to say, and then the answer should be based in what he just said not based in what you want to say like things there is things we like to say but maybe we should not say it right now uh, you can watch my videos and you can learn really how to deal with them we will never wear muslims my friend adil go and check my videos for the last month and I guarantee you, if you count, you will find more than 30 Muslims at least. They left Islam life on air. At least. So when Muslims, you are wrong, my friend. We are winning Muslims. And as you see, we are the Arab. And we are destroying Islam. Islam is history. My videos is all over the internet. And I challenge anyone to refute what I say. If you look at the comment of the Muslims about what I say in videos, they're attacking me. Show your face. You know, if you are a man, show yourself. I mean, it's, it's stupid stuff. But nobody can answer us. What about you, Adil? You wanna you wanna try, Mr. Adil? Guys, do you think Adil he dared to try? What do you think? Adil, he said you will never win a Muslim. Do you like to call to call me, Mr. Adil? Do you like to call me? Let us see how sure you are. I guarantee you, you will not even be able to to answer two words from what you, from what you will say. You know what? I will make a challenge to you that you ask me to ask you a question, and you will see you cannot ask me the question to ask you. I did a check. What? <clears throat> I did a check already. Your video. Our big joke okay well what about you call me and uh, then you can make a video of yourself with me and make Muslims laugh do you want to do that what do you think guys let us see who is the big joke you want to do that shall I open my sky for you mr. Adil I think Adil he is like a heavy heavy weight you know boxer what do you think Adil don't chicken out you want to call me? You can ask mommy and daddy if you want to call me, no problem. I would like to be sure that your parents are proving that. Is that okay, my friend? Don't play dead, Adil. What happened? You want to call me? And look how easy I made it for you. You ask me what I like, what, what you like me to ask you, which means you call me, you say, Christian Prince, ask me this question. And I challenge you to answer the question you asked me to ask you. What do you think? You believe it? You ask me the question which you want me to ask you, and I challenge you to answer the question you asked me to ask you. Look, he's playing dead. He's not even moving now. Face to face. Here we go. Did, did, did you see, guys? Did, I told you. Face to face. Show me your face. <laughs> I am in the internet. You are in the middle of nowhere and you are asking me face to face. I mean, who is stupid here? <laughs> the comedy of Muhammadan. <laughs> face to face. Hey, dear. Dear, do you see me? Dear, I challenge you to come to me face to face. Uh, but the deer in the wood now. I don't care. If you are a man enough, Mr. Deer, come to me face to face. But I am a deer, man. I am in the middle of nowhere. And, you know, where are you? Come to me face to face if you are a man. 
I mean, look how silly, how stupid it is. What if I do the same to your God? Says to him, show me your face. Hey Allah, I challenge you to debate me face to face. I'm so glad you did not say shin to shin because you Muslim worship a shin. And by the way, I appreciate the shin of Allah because if Allah does not have a shin, I will hold in what? Because Allah is so big, you know, and I hold in his shin and Allah cannot move no more because Allah have one shin. Are you there, Adil? Uh oh, it's 12. Do you hear it? Do you hear it? The shooting? Look. This is shooting. This is not fair work. Yeah, this is fair work now. Here we go. This is shooting. There is some firework, but the majority are shooting. Hmm. All right. Happy New Year, everybody. Yeah, actually, you know, they take advantage because now the police, they cannot go after people who are like, there's no way you can go all over the town or the city. So you can shoot and nobody will notice. But for me, I will never do that. You know? Do we have any Abdul? Let's see, this is shooting. Yeah. Anyone? There you are. That's it. You hear it? Man, stop. Look like my neighbor is not here because my neighbor usually he. Uh, you know, once I have a, I have a friend. Is getting closer. Uh, I have a friend. He came from the backyard and he want to make a surprise to me. So he put his head in the window and before he moved his head, he found two guys behind him with their guns. He is, he is scared the hell of him. He said to him, what are you doing here? Why you came from the backyard? He said, I thought I'm just joking. He said, you don't joke in this town. There's no joking here. They will shoot you. <laughs> don't. Don't do that. Yeah, actually, but, you know, I prefer a town full of guns better than a town have no guns because it is very secure. Imagine you are a thief or a criminal or a terrorist and you want to attack those people. They will make you like the screen door in two seconds. You know what I mean? A terrorist here, he will not be able to survive, survive two minutes. Sure, I have guns. Why I don't? I have guns since I was a kid. <clears throat> nothing wrong with having guns the wrong is what you do with it if you are a criminal this is a different story guns don't kill people it's people kill people a criminal he can kill you by his arms he can kill you by his hand he can kill you by a rock he can kill you by a car he can kill you by anything you know anyway do we have any Abdul? Or so we can start the year with something blessing. Maybe we can find a Muslim who will leave Islam. If there's any Abdul willing to leave Islam today. If you have a gun, you are intending to use. Hmm. You know, Elam, I don't like silly stuff. Because what do you think if we have a police without guns? Who is going to protect you? When something wrong happened to you, you call somebody he have a gun to help you, not somebody he have a mosquito. So don't be silly, please. Right? When something wrong happened to you, you call somebody he have a gun to help you, and that is the policeman. So it's very silly to say when you have a gun you are intended to use. No. I have a gun. I don't shoot people. Right? That's that's silly to say. Uh, 
Uh, this is why the UK is not secure place. Here we go. I just heard today uh, before the new year they, somebody stabbed three people in the station in Manchester. Correct? Why? Because nobody are, have arms. Here, everybody have guns. Try to stab me. Here you will see. If it's not me who shot you, somebody else will shoot you. You know, actually, even in America, cities who guns, which guns are forbidden, like Chicago, is the biggest crime city. Chicago is the biggest crime city in the state, and guns are not allowed. Why? Because people don't have guns. Only criminals can have their hands on guns. Criminals always they can get their guns easy. So. What the government is doing in Chicago, they forbid the good citizen from having guns, but the criminals, they can have guns. And this is how stupid the idea is. Do you hear it? Yeah. It is in your constitution. Yeah, well, I am glad that we have this in our constitution. And actually, before I come to the state, in the Middle East, you know, I am, uh, I, I have, uh, I ha you know, we have arms. You know, well, if something happened to you, what you wait for the police, by the time the police come, if they come, you will be dead and your family. So having guns, you know, doesn't make you a bad person. It's how you do it. Well, how, what do you do with it? I hope, my friend, you will never need a gun. But let me tell you a story which will make it funny for you. When I was in the Middle East, you know, uh, a bunch of Christians, we go hiking, and they make fun of me. They make fun of me. Why? Because always I have a gun with me. And they say to me, why you carry a gun with you? Why, why you are carrying a gun? So we are hiking, and one day we have a storm, and the rain was very heavy, and we were trying to find a place to where we can hide until the storm is over. And then we start hearing the, the sounds of the hyena and the beast. And suddenly, all those Christians who make fun of me for having a gun, suddenly all of them, they are holding me from my arms. You have your gun with you, right? You have your gun with you, right? I said, what, what gun? I said, the gun, the gun you always have with you. Don't you have a gun with you? I said, uh, yeah. I said, okay, that's good. Suddenly, my gun became so important. They were making fun of me always for having a gun. Now everybody loved me for the. But, but, but look what I said to them. I said to them, but by the way, I have only one bullet with me. They said, what? One bullet? What are you talking about? You, you carry a gun, you have only one bullet? I said, what I can do? I have one bullet with me. And they were saying like, what? What? Why you are carrying one bullet? I was just making fun of them. There's no way I'm going, you know. But imagine they are making me making fun of me always for carrying a gun. And suddenly now, and when we sit in the ground, you know, we sit together like, you know, because we can see even the eyes of the, of, of, the, of, the, of, of those beasts, you know, they, their eyes is different. They are, just to teach you something, in the wood, if you see shiny, like a, kind of a green or blue, that is a beast. If you see something red, that is like a rabbit or a, a sheep or a donkey, it's going to be red in the, in the, in the night when you, when you hit the, the light on it. So... They were sitting next to me and nobody wanted like i was like i can't even move i said like give me a space what if okay if, if a wolf or a hyena came how i'm going to shoot him you are holding me from both sides like let me give me some space you know so this is how funny those people they are they are against guns they will not remember how important it is to have one until you need it and then there's no way to say i'm sorry it's too late right it's going to be very very late anyway people they have their own logic but the most people who make it uh, you know make make me uh, laugh is as the christians when they say uh, we are against guns that you know if i if you say to the christians do you know that jesus said go and buy a sword they will say where huh what are you talking about jesus said that yes it's in the bible but i never heard the priest quoting that for us right isn't it jesus he said do that the one who don't have a gun a sword go and buy one but jesus did not have an army and did not ask anyone to kill anyone you know he knew that his disciples are going to go between towns and cities and there's a lot of criminals and bandit he will, will attack them
but people will not see that you know they see only what they like this is firework all right he is from Lebanon busted himself think whatever you want do we have any Abdul here do we have any Abdul additional to Adel who is asking his mommy if he can call me Happy New Year, my friend. Happy New Year. Any Muslim? I used to love guns till I have a gun in my head. <laughs> yeah, but you know, still the gun is a gun. It's not the gun who kill you. It's people. You know, don't you know? Be sure you are not with the wrong people. Like now, if you go outside. What you expect to see in the street? I mean, there's good people, yes, but there's some bad people who they are high in drugs, drunk, God knows. Okay, get ready. So you better be smart. All right, look like we have an anti-gun movement here. For me, I have no problem with guns. The problem is with people, not with the guns. Guns are 1,000 times better than people because simply uh, guns give you security, but the people don't give you security because a lot of people are corrupt and false. Have you ever noticed how people behave? I, I, I don't know if you watch like, uh, let us say, uh, an airplane crash. Or like you know, somebody suddenly became isolated. Suddenly, you will see the real face of people, how they are, how selfish they are, how dangerous they are. And then you will notice that the one who is strong will take over the weak. Right? As long we are in a civil society and we have our needs, everything is fine. But imagine now there is a war, and the stores are empty from food, and there's no money and there's no jobs. What do you think people would do? You will see different kind of people. You know what I'm talking about? And then who is going to protect you? You will notice that a human being around you, they, be, they turn to be beast. And I hope that we will never reach that point. But anytime you know a war erupt between big nations, the whole world will collapse. You know, pray that in your time the world will not collapse. Imagine, like you know, those crazy people they want Russia and America to go in war. It's not going to be Russia and America only. The whole earth will be destroyed, and people will, people will shoot each other over over a, a, a case of rice. human being it he, he will turn into a dangerous creature as as soon as he get hungry do we have any muslim would like to uh, start our year with the blessing of allah who want to tell us about allah today hmm? i like to learn about allah to start my year with something nice Yeah, as an example, Venezuela, right? If you go to Venezuela, kidnapping is a business now. You know, if you if they know you have little money in your house, they come and they kidnap you. They kidnap your wife, they kidnap your daughter, you know? Uh, but Venezuela was not like this. But suddenly, the country collapsed. And when the country collapsed, things will go wrong. Everything will go wrong. Do we have any Abdul would like to call us? We pray always, my friend. We pray the Lord that you know we keep us safe and keep you safe and keep your family and keep the whole world in peace. But peace, time will come and peace will collapse. And you know, the coming wars are not going to be the same as before, it's going to be a lot more ugly. 
way ugly. And I hope we will not witness that. <clears throat> Do we have any Abdul would like to call us? Shall I open my Skype? If there's any Abdul would like to call me, please let me know. Only Abdul. Oh, well, not only chemical, not only. I saw, I saw the the Russian, uh, the new Russian weapon, where they can create tsunami. You know, they can flood almost half of USA in in two hours. As simple as that. You know, so uh, you know, war is not going to be as before. Like they shoot a missile at you and you shoot a missile at them and the missile will like kill maybe 50, 100 people. No. Stories will be different. <clears throat> yeah, actually, actually, I, I, I believe now they are working in, in weather uh, uh, war, the, the war of weather. So um, there is there is they, they can you know they can control the weather uh, in order to make um, a disaster you know they can do that so things is going beyond control and one day uh, somebody will be a, a crazy guy to became a president like hitler either usa or russia or whatever and then he will go crazy and he will make a decision and the decision will burn the whole earth you no know? it's going to happen Sooner or later. There's bacteria war, there's uh, uh, weather, there is tsunami, there is earthquake. They can even make an earthquake happen. I mean, look how powerful they became. cyber war you name it USA is behind actually USA is behind in technology compared to Russia when it's come to to war and power remember Russia represent the Soviet Union and Soviet Union was in one side and all of the West in one side so until now all the Western are not they, they don't they cannot even match in any war with Russia uh, the Russian they have a technology that even even if you destroy all of Russia and nobody is still alive their missiles will be reactivated when the radi radiation became high automatically so they will shoot they have a pre prepared target and their missiles will shoot even if there is nobody to push the bomb you know and I'm very grateful that the one who have those power are not Muslims because if the Muslims have this power we are over that said the whole earth is over imagine if uh, if the king of Saudi Arabia he is the most powerful king in in the, in the world what he would do it will go Allahu Akbar do jihad, either you convert to Islam or kill you all. <clears throat> do we have any Abdul? anyone and actually uh, in the in the in the coming war we will not have normal war like soldiers right now I mean most of the, most of the attacks USA is doing by using a, a, a drone you know an airplane have no pilot in it it's just by computer like a computer game and this is what the Russian are doing too and I believe time will come not long from now we will have soldiers in the field who they are not a human and you will see Everything will change. Soon you will ride an airplane and there's nobody in it 
uh, there's no pilot it's just a computer the same as your train in England you know there's no driver it's a computer Muhammad he have a mole in his body yeah I saw that mole actually to be honest with you <laughs> you see all the things you see in fiction movies today is going to happen tomorrow if you watch if you watch movies which made 20 years ago fiction movies 20 years ago we have what they were talking about today just go back on time and watch it's exactly you know what we have so what is fiction today is going to be real tomorrow when I was in school uh, uh, a Chinese uh, teacher he what he taught us they are working in a project that you can taste food through the internet and but he said they did not receive the approval I think that there's a government thing I mean to approve it's like dangerous because people they can use it to harm or to do things etc so they were able imagine uh, there's like a sensor you put in your skin or in your uh, you, you wear it in your head and then that sensor will transform electric uh, electro, electro, electro electricity you know to your brain and give you the taste so you will feel the taste in your tongue so like you see you click at this dish you want to order it you can taste the dish without even eating it imagine so all those things they used to be fictions and they are supposedly fictions but just wait and a nuclear bomb is the smallest one there is now bigger than a nuclear nuclear is the one is like uh, is like a tomato now do we have any Muslim here okay but who there's a Muslim wanna call me only Muslims I will take their calls no Christians please I want to start my new year with the Muslim Abdul maybe we can make Abdul leave us now do we have any Muslim No, my friend, you see, if you know how many people they know me, they will not believe it. Uh, uh, people might be think because how many subscription you have. For me, I should have more than anyone, all those people you know, but always I lose my account. That's why I have many accounts, because I have an account, a year or two maximum, and then, you know, they ban me, they fight me. But doesn't matter really my videos are all over the, the YouTube this is why I always ask people to download my videos so do we have any Muslim would like to call us any Muslim Even Arab Christian, they call Allah. Y yes, this is true that Arab Christian they use the word Allah, but this is not because the God, uh, their God name is Allah. That because they are under the occupation of Muslims for fourteen hundred years. If I make you sit in the city of ISIS, they will make you say Allah too. For one day, not one week. In one day, you will say Allah. So don't be a foolish. Allah is the is the name of the God of Islam. Is not a word meaning God. For Christians, they use the word as a word meaning God, because they are being forced to. And me, as an Arab Christian, I confirm that to you. For us, the only God we know is the one His name is mentioned in the Bible. If you come find me in my Bible, the word Allah, not in the translation, then you are a winner. Did you ask yourself why you why only those who live in Islamic countries they use the word Allah? Yeah, my Skype is off because only I want Muslims to call me. So only if there is a Muslim, he say he will call me, I will open Skype. Only Muslims. Do we have any Muslim? 
why I should turn my Skype on. I said only Muslims. Let us see, maybe we can get a Muslim, you never know. Let us do fishing. Fishing is good. We will open Skype, but please, if you are a Christian, don't call me. Again, only Muslims. Because my experience is, I say only Muslim and then Christians call me. If I say only Christians, Muslims call me. All right, here we go. Skype is coming on. Okay. If you are a Muslim, text me. If you are a Muslim, text me and I will call you. Abdul Muhammad. Let us see Abdul Muhammad. Abdul Muhammad, you like to call? Okay, let us see this guy here. They have two Muslims. Let us see which one of them want to call us first. <coughs> Look at this guy, he said, Muhammad prophesied in the drying, the drying of the sea. <laughs> My friend, if Muhammad was here with me, his his panty will get wet, not the, not, not, not the sea will dry. Which sea is drying? The sea of Galilee is drying. Mm. And Muhammad prophesied the sea is drying. Oh boy. Only Muhammad he can prophesy those stuff. Nobody. Call me, call me so we can laugh about Muhammad drying, uh, speaking about the drying of the sea. Go ahead, call me so we can laugh. Who is the Muslim on a call? Hmm? Muhammad he prophesy that if a Muslim he raise his head before the Imam Allah will make his head the head of a donkey I mean at least make it a head of a, a deer that is more beautiful a donkey we could not find something better can you show me one Muslim who rose his head before the Imam finished the prayer? Allah, he made his head a head of a donkey. Hmm? Who is the Muslim on a call? Man, I, I, I need to spend like two days to answer the people here. They are texting me. If you see my Skype guys, you get scared. Endless. Hmm. Anyone? I'm just reading the comment of the Abdul. 90% of the comments of the Abdul is about showing me your face. 
and I don't know why they want to see my face. You know, I'm going to change the way I think about myself. I think I'm very handsome. I mean, otherwise, why they are asking me to show my face? Let me go and let, let, let me, let me, I want to buy a, a mirror. You know, for a long time, I did not have a mirror in my house because I don't want to see that. But because of the Muslim keep requesting to see my face, I mean, obviously, there's something, there's something unique about it. I mean, why they want to see my face? Maybe I'm their God, Allah. Hmm? Show me your face. That's the best you can do. What about you show me your answer? My voice sound handsome. Mm. Yeah. You see, sound is very important, by the way. Voice is very important because um, voice carry an energy. And if the energy is bad, usually the sound is bad. So if you feel good about some voices, not necessarily singers, but energy of the voice, that's a good sign. So where is the Muslims? Here we go. My Skype is open. Who is a Muslim wanna call me? Hmm? Anyone? No one? I am sound like an old man. Yes, I'm very old. Is that will make a difference for you? If I am old or young? Actually, according to my family, they told me I was born a long time ago, to the point nobody remember when. Some historian, they said, I am like, I am in the same generation of Adam. But I'm not sure about that, by the way. I think this is exaggeration. Now, do we have any Muslim? Yeah, yeah. What is your thought on Tommy Robinson? I don't know him much, but I think he is the guy is trying to do the best for his country, and he had the right to do so. But looked like he came in the wrong time, between the wrong nation. People in these days became liberals, and when you are in a nation full of liberals, good luck. To find a wife in the year 2019 I don't think I will ever find a wife unless she found me so we will see can you give me the hadith about Satan shaitan instrument okay I will teach you a trick sheriff, sheriff, sheriff. just type the word instrument in the hadith.com and you will find the hadith here we go what do you think just find it. Just type the word instrument there in English and you will find it. Well, I hope the Lord will send me a wife. But, uh, you know, if if I have or not, that will not change anything. Because maybe if I get married, I will not be able to give the same time I am doing right now. Because it's going to be very hard to have a, a woman who accept that her husband will spend most of his day speaking to people, not to her. You know what I mean? So maybe it's, maybe it's better to stay single. Christian Fake? How are you, host boss? I like your name, host boss. Which one is first? Is that like your last name is boss or your first name is... Uh, which What host mean? Is that a disease or this is something... Did you see a doctor? Host boss. Be careful, my friend. Because I heard that those things they can they are you know they carry infection. Do we have any Abdul? Ayatul Kursi. 
Well, one of the funny things about this chapter of the chair that the Muslim believe if you if you read it upside down, you can fight the genie. But as you know, Muhammad himself was under the control of the genie. Hmm? Muhammad himself, he could not find his own genie. But where is the Muslims today? Ah, they are drunk. <clears throat> I have sent me a message about salawat prior. What does that mean? And do you think really I can follow up with all the messages people they send me? It's endless. Any Abdul? Who is a Muslim? He is proud about his religion. Okay, Abdul Muhammad. Abdul Muhammad, he sent me a private part of his prophet. Very good Muslim. Any Abdul? Nobody? Close my eyes. Why I want to close my eyes? I am a man, not a kid. And the funny, their prophet, he have a private part, but he could not use it. Even the hadith says that the prophet he used to imagine himself having sex. So maybe he should send his private part to his prophet Muhammad. Maybe he can do better with it. Do we have any Muslim here would like to call us? And why you want women to call me, my friend? Let the men talk to us. Anyone? Nobody? Nobody know, nobody know, nobody know, nobody, da -da -dum, nobody. Nobody know, nobody know, nobody know, nobody, nobody know, not even Allah. Muhammad do not know, Muslims do not know, Allah knows best, but Allah do not know. This is how stupid this religion is. If I respond to your text somewhere, don't be offended. And if you don't like to me to respond, don't ask me them private questions. I don't believe in signs. Somebody asked about my signs, like what sign I am born. I said, this is pagan. I have nothing to do with you. This is what I believe. So if you don't like me to hear, to hear that, don't ask me, don't say. What signs? Did the Bible teach you to have signs and whatever you believe in those things? What signs? 
we Christians should not believe in this garbage. All those who believe in signs and they read signs, they never have a good success life. So why the sign is not working for them? They go before they get married and they make a study. Okay, I am from the sign of etc. And you are from the sign of etc. And that make us uh, <laughs> successful. And then after two years, they get divorced. Right? So it's a, it's a fiction. It's not, it's not real. So you don't like me to, to mention, there's nothing personal here. No, my friend, those people will never debate me. They are potatoes. Happy New Year, my friend. You know, like there's people who read the future and they, they make a business. There is a lot of people make a lot of money from this in many countries. Well, I will give you a very simple answer. Somebody can see the future. Can't he see which lotto number will win? You know what I mean? Are you getting my point? The one who can read the future, well, he will go and, uh, and uh, you know, uh, buy the lotto. And that's it. <laughs> if I know which lotto is going to win the chemist, the came in uh, with a draw, that's it. I will go and buy it. I mean, I, why am I gonna the... madness? My friend, don't tell me if you read science or if you care for science. I was answering in general, nothing personal. Stop doing that. Please, nothing personal. If you if you say something in text and I answer you, I'm not insulting you. Don't take it personal. I am just answering what I believe. Do you want me to say what I believe or not? You don't have to accept what I'm saying, but I'm not insulting you. Do we have any Abdul? The poor guy Abdul, he keep uh, he keep making a new account and trying to send more pictures, but he do not know that I have an uh, I have a software I activated which block anyone send me pictures automatically, which means I don't even see you, I don't even look at you. Potatoes. You are the sons of your father, the devil. If your father is not the devil, you will not send the picture of your private part. Filthy like your father. From their fruits, you shall know them. Let your private part help you when you see your Islam collapsing. Let your private help you to get Jerusalem back. What about you send your private part picture to Netanyahu and then he will withdraw from Jerusalem immediately? <laughs> what a stupid people. Any Abdul? Salawat means a prayer. Anyone? Any Muslim?
near the sea. No Muslims. Do you see value in Christians studying Arabic language in order to study Islam more in depth? I don't see many Christians talking, taking Islam seriously. And more liberals feel in love with it, the more of a duty it becomes to refute. No, the liberals are not in love with Islam. The liberals are in love with anything. It's stupid. The liberals, the second they notice that you don't like Islam because you're a Christian, they take the side of Islam. As simple as that. Whatever make, make you as a Christian and uh, unhappy, liberals, they take the side of that thing. As very simple, you know. Uh, you say uh, you say like you say left they say right you say right they say left doesn't matter what you say Where is the Abdul? You know, like if you ask those who make movies, why in their movies don't insult Muhammad? Because you insult Muhammad, you might get killed. But you insult Jesus, you can say therefore the word Jesus, nobody will kill you. This is the word, how the word it is. The word today is the word of, uh, you know, if you are a criminal, as people respect you. Respect fear, which means, you know. It's not about like being decent or you know otherwise they will make fun of Muhammad but Muhammad is a criminal and those who believe in Muhammad they are following the step of Muhammad but for us we don't care we say the truth as it is Muhammad is a false prophet I will say it from now until next 1,000 years as long as I'm alive so do we have any Muslim would like to call us Anyone? However, you know, it doesn't matter what the Muslims try to do. Islam is very easy uh, religion to defeat. But as I said, you know, the key of defeating any disease is to know it. If you do not know it, anyone can make fun of you. The more you know, the more you can fight it better. A Christian Muslim relationship should be the break up right away. What do you mean relationship? You mean for marriage? Like male and female? That's absolutely bad. You see, first of all, the Muslims, they don't tr even respect their own women who they are Muslims. So how they will respect you? The Quran says we are dirty. So why you want to believe? That you can marry a man who believe that you are dirty Muhammad allowed them to sleep with you as a female but he don't allow the Christian man to sleep with the Muslim women the purpose is the breed because the children of a female they will go to the male so as long the husband is a Muslim then we guarantee the children will be Muslims so relationship between a Muslim person and a Christian person doesn't matter of male or female absolutely wrong sooner or later you will find that you have a chaos in your house and what you will do when your children start asking who is God 
what you you say Jesus he say Allah what you would do and then what you would do to your children if he start teaching them that we should fight and kill the Christians and the Jews what you would do but I believe that people who get involved with marriage from Muslims they don't care for God they don't call for religion at least in that stage when they do it because if you care you will not you know for me even if I if I meet a Christian woman even if she is supposedly Christian but she is not really Christian I will not marry her you know what I mean because there's nothing is called Christian by birth there's a Christian and believe so why I want to do that to myself It doesn't matter it's about you if you are a person who converted to Christianity by faith not because of a man like if a, if a, 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 you know once a Muslim woman she tried to convince me that she is in love with me and she want to marry me and she said she is willing to convert to Christianity I said no I would not accept that for a very simple reason you are converting just for a man you don't believe you know that will make me and make you a hypocrite so if a person convert before he met you not because of you and became a christian and he is there a christian for many years and proved that he is a christian then yeah you can have a family with this person why not but not a person who have a he convert or she convert just to have you in the bed you know what i mean Because that will destroy your family very soon. A Muslim man, he, he is allowed to have many wives. So don't be upset if you go back. Uh, let us say he is. Uh, 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 once I I spoke to a woman. She is from England, I think. She said her husband. He started going to Jordan. He's from Jordan, and in the beginning he used to go like once every few years, and then after that, he goes every few months. And later she found out that he have a new wife she is 17 years old and this woman now she is 50 or almost in her 50. and i said to her well he is a muslim you know you marry a muslim right don't you know she said yeah so don't you know that he's allowed to marry more than one wife she said yeah but we live in england i said okay he did he did not marry in england he married the, the second wife and he will marry the third wife in jordan have fun <laughs> You brought that to yourself. You married a man who believe in such a thing. Right? It's like, you know, uh, having a partnership with the with the wrong uh, let us say Culture long everything is different between you and him the man he can beat you in Islam chapter 4 verse number 34 He can beat you literally There's a movie. It's called not without my daughter anyone saw it Anyone saw the movie It's an old movie About an American woman naive woman. She married an Iranian doctor the doctor, he's very nice, he's educated, etc. But this is in America. But as soon they went to Iran, eh, she became a goat. In Iran, he is a Muslim. In America, he's a different person. Have fun. So why you want to put yourself and your future and your family in such a risk? Your country is full of men. You cannot find a man to marry from except a Muslim. Who is from different religion, different culture, different belief? Why you want to do that? And if you marry a person, let us say he is open-minded, as they call them, which is funny. I don't believe in such a thing. And he don't pray, etc. What is your guarantee that tomorrow he will not pray and he will turn into the mosque and he will remember that he's a Muslim? What is your guarantee? Do you have a guarantee? light and darkness they don't live together not under one roof 
the Bible speak about exception like if you are a person who became he was a Muslim and he was married to a Muslim woman or you know doesn't matter which one of them became a Christian in this case only you can stay as married to that person because the Lord he don't prefer you to destroy your marriage because you became a Christian so as long as you can survive it stay there Do we have any Abdul? Until now we have zero Abdul. Not only I don't advise you actually to marry not someone from different belief, even if from different culture, like me, I am myself, I'm an Arab, as an example, from the Middle East. So there's things I don't accept my wife to do. We have different culture. Maybe for you as an American, there's things you do normally and you don't think this is offending me. For me I have some things will offend me if you do it so you have to understand when you marry a person coming from there even if he isn't a Christian like me you have to accept what he's coming with otherwise you will have a big problem for me there's no way my wife she can stay out of home until like 9 or 10 p.m. by herself I will never accept that I will never accept my wife wearing very revealing clothes First, because I'm a Christian. Secondly, I believe this is not why. I mean, why a woman she wanna go and her breast is coming out or her skirt is like one inch? What is the purpose? So when you when you wanna marry from a person, you better know what he believes in and what he stands for, what he agree, what he refuse. And then you have to put yourself, do you agree with this? Do you wanna live like that? Maybe you don't. Maybe you like to be in the bikini all day. You know, maybe you believe that you can have a male friend. You can visit him in his house. For me, I would never accept that. What male friend? You don't go to visit a guy in his house. So if you believe in that, then we, we cannot, you know, we are no match. So you have to be careful, you know. It's not about a Muslim. It's about you know things. Uh, you know there's things is acceptable. Is things is wrong. Like you know some people they say they are open minded. I I never I don't ever heard of something stupid I, as saying I am open minded, because what open minded mean? Do you like some like if somebody sleep with your wife is okay for you? What does that mean? Open minded. Open minded mean I accept anything. I mean, this is stupid. I'm open minded. <clears throat> and I believe that the rules should be goes to both. Like for me, I will never accept to go and have a friends, but they will not suitable to be friends to my wife, too. Which means if I go out, I take my wife with me. Now, not for sure, not necessarily always she have to go with me. But if I accept I will stay late, then we stay late out together. Not the women stay home and the guy, he stay until 1 a.m. in the morning and he come back. But the women, she cannot stay out. Uh, you, know, you know what I mean? The rules goes for both equally. So you don't stay late outside by yourself. I don't stay late outside by myself. It's not because you are a woman and I'm a man. I don't accept you to have a male friend, you visit him at home, and I don't accept me to have a female friend, I visit her at home. Because simply, this is not right. If you have a friend, meet them in a coffee shop and take your wife with you. Let us say you have a female friend and you know her for many years. What's wrong with that? Nothing wrong. But if she's a friend, well, why she would be your friend only? Now you are not living by yourself, you have a wife. All right? There is no Abdul today. Today it's like it's a dry day. Very dry. Eh, you know, they are drunk still, like it's a new year eve, so I understand. A Muslim is asking me if I became a Christian. I don't know if he's listening. Look like this guy is 
thinking to convert. He's a Muslim. He's saying to me, if I became a Christian, what I what I gain in heaven? Let me show you his text. Do you see it? If I became a Christian, what do I gain in heaven? First of all, if you are thinking about what you will gain, I advise you not to become a Christian. Because believing in God is not about self-esteem and what I will gain. It's about you believe in the right thing to do. See, always avoid such a people who have such a mentality. Let us say, we were talking about relationship. Imagine you have a you have a son or a daughter or even a wife thinking about having a relationship with you and the reason she will not have a relationship with you is what she will gain So as soon that gain is not there she will leave you or he will leave you Right, so those people they don't believe in God those people they believe in gain. That's why he's a Muslim in heaven his God will make his penis endless. He will give him a lot of women for sex. So he's asking now, okay, I will leave Islam. What you will give me? Do you see the mentality? Did you notice the, the wrong mentality? Like what your God will give me? It's like we have a uh, we have a competition who who will give more. Like in the election in the Middle East, you know, the, the they they bribe the voters before you vote. They go and say to you, if you if you vote for me, I will give you two dollars as an example, like if you're a poor country, like in Egypt. So what I will gain, I don't care, you know, you don't you will you will gain, you will not go to hell. <laughs> what I will gain. <laughs> Is isn't it that enough? You will not go to hell. Be happy with Muhammad, stay there. What I will gain. People sometimes, I don't know, they have like a like a brain of a child, what I will gain. Sometimes I feel like animals, they think more clear than us. You know, animals, they do things for a reason. A human being, they don't do things for a reason. They do things for stupid reasons. Any Muslim? Thank you for those who made donation tonight. Always, always think about it this way, that if you will do something, if you are a person who calculate things, what I will gain, then that means you are a person who is always selfish, you know, and selfishness is anti- uh, Antichrist spirit. You see, many uh, once somebody asked me about the yoga. I said, "What do you think about the yoga?" I heard even some Christian priests they are under the influence of such a yoga. I believe yoga is a very wrong practice because it teaches you how to be selfishness or selfish. You focus on yourself. You make yourself the the center of the world, and you think only about yourself. The time you want to spend for yoga for two hours sitting in your bum. What about you go and help somebody he can't cut his grass what about going to someone is poor and he cannot afford something i mean work for two hours extra and give the money for this poor person you know what i mean what is yoga the best example of the failure of those who practice yoga is thailand how many of you been in Thailand? How many of you been in Thailand before? Thailand is a big center for uh, the Buddha religion, right? But is a big center for human trafficking and sex business. There is temples every corner. There is a Buddha priest everywhere, but there is a hawker every corner. Why the Buddha culture 
is not working good for the benefit of the Thai people. It's okay, my friend. Thank you for donating or not. It's all right. So, you know, uh, uh, they forbid you from killing dogs in Thailand, dogs all over the street. It is haram. It's haram to kill the dog, but but the but the girls, the pure poor poor girls, you know, ten years old, they are taken to prostitution. The priests they fight against killing dogs, but they have no problem with their daughters taken into sex traffic. Are you you know what I'm, what I'm saying, guys? No, they I don't talk about Buddha, our ally. There's nothing is called ally, my friend. Wrong is wrong. There's nothing is called ally. Buddhism is a very wrong religion and is not making people live better. I, I can say they are better than the Muslims for sure. They are a lot more peaceful. But I'm talking about that this this religion is not making people better in many ways. Because you see any religion doesn't matter if it's made by who the purpose is to make us better people right so can you explain to me why this prostitution madness are you getting my idea They are upset from silly stuff, but they are upset from their daughters are being taken for into sex and to sex business and sex traffic. There is a stories are very scary. You know, this is like a big, big, big crime happening there. Children are taken into slavery, sex slavery. Where is the priest? Especially we are talking about the country which does not separate between religion and government. The priests there are very powerful. Like the, the country is controlled by priests almost. So this is a supposedly a religious country. It's like we speak about Saudi Arabia. Go to Saudi Arabia. It's the most corrupt country ever. Mosque in every corner. Everybody have to attend the prayer every day. If you don't come to the mosque in your neighborhood, three days, the police will come to your house and they will check you out why you did not come to the mosque. Did you become an atheist? Did you leave Islam? Did you become a Christian? Are you a communist? So in such a country, you expect what? You expect supposedly a very religious people, but drugs, prostitution, madness. So there is a failure. In America, people are free. Religion have not no control of anyone. We don't have a religious control of the president, or actually, even they are fighting us even not to have the Bible in school, even not to have the Bible in a hotel. So we have no control. Right? Anyway, don't don't take don't take a side with something just because okay they are against Islam and because we are against Islam. Speak the truth. Like you know, I have some Hindu friends and they are nice people. I respect them. I love them. But if you ask me about Hinduism, I believe it's wrong. What does it have to do with this? This is my belief. Don't be a hypocrite. You know what I mean? Say your belief, no matter who you speak to. Please, if you want to call me, text me first, tell me that you are a Muslim, and then I will allow you to call me. I changed the setup because many people, they are calling for stupid things. Showing their 
Bom. You know, the, the Muhammad was like that always. When he speaks to the Jews, he is a Jew. When he speaks to the, Mus the, to, uh, the Muslims, his followers, he's a Muslim. But the Christian is a Christian, like Obama. Obama in the election, you know, he holds the Bible, he starts quoting verses from the Bible, suddenly he became religious, but all his life is making fun of the Bible. He went to Jerusalem, suddenly he is a Jew. He was making fun of the Old Testament. He go to the Muslim, he quote Quran. He sit with the atheist, he's an atheist. He go with the gays, he's a gay. If you want to do that, then you are no Christian. Say you believe wherever you go, doesn't matter you speak with who. Otherwise, you are we are the same as the rest. You know, they change their color and their skin color and their, their idea and their view, you know. This is what the Muslims do. When a Muslim man he speaks to a black person, he speak about the white man slavery. But when he speaks with the white man to convert him to Islam, he never mentions slavery. So he used the weakness of a Muslim of a black man, his history, to make him believe Christianity, make him believe that Christianity made him a slave. When the fact the one the white man he bought the slaves from the Arab man. All the slaves came to the West, Europe, and America, came from North Africa, captured by the Arab Muslims, sold by the Arab Muslims. Go check the history. It will take you two seconds if you search in Google. We don't change the way we speak. We say it as it is. Do we have any Muslim would like to call me? Anyone? You know, I lost my respect to many Christians who supposedly they are bishops and etc. Just because they are hypocrites, the same as the Muslims. You ask them about Islam, they start saying to you, uh, you know, Muslims are people who believe in Abraham and we share many things and you know, all those is this garbage. I mean, obviously, this guy is, 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 is full of lies. But yet he is a Christian bishop, supposedly. People respect him. My friend, if you want to donate, you can donate in Patreon, or you can donate here, but maybe in Patreon is better. It's up to you. And if you could not, well, thank you very much for trying. God bless you. And not only that, by the way, look what, look what somebody said. The Pope was kissing the Quran. My friend, let us not to judge this way. I know what he what he did, and I know what happened. I don't agree with him, but doesn't mean he is a bad person. The same one you are speaking about is the same one who said Muhammad he brought nothing but evil. And when he said that, the Muslims start killing Christians in the Middle East. So let us be fair. The Sheikh he kissed the Bible. The guy he is visiting their mosque, and he was polite. I don't agree with him. He kissed the Quran in return. The Pope is a political leader. He is the president of a country. It's called the Vatican. And whoever works in politics, it is politics. I don't care about which platform, my friend. As long as it's working, it's working. Yeah, it's still fine. There's no problem. Any Abdul? Uh, 
And by the way, like, you know, there's many people, they, they attack the Catholic and they say, even they fabricate lies that the Catholic, they created Islam, which is a big fat lie. In fact, nobody fought Islam as much as the Catholic. And if not the Catholic, all of Europe will be Muslim from long time ago. I'm not a Catholic, but I say the truth. Lies, you know, many people, they live lies. You see, okay, there is some people, they don't like the Catholics, so we make lies about them. They, the same as the Muslims. Muslims, they make lies about us in order to make you, to make the Muslims not to think about converting to Christianity or thinking that we are good people. And there is many who they are devilish people, who they are, they create lies in order to fool the naive ones in their churches to make them, the cat to make them believe that the Catholic are evil people. And look, they are the one who created Islam. But nobody want to investigate and check if this is true or not. Copy paste. You know what I mean? Copy paste. But this is absolutely false. If the Catholic they did that, I will be the first one to tell you. As simple as that. But the fact is the opposite. Debate TV. The, the Skype is debate TV. Uh, and Dina and Rina, the Catholic, no, they are not bad. There, there is a child molestation everywhere, and there is people who they are criminals everywhere. That's not true, my friend. And I believe that the devil is attacking the Catholic Church by those people. It's not the opposite as you think. You see, the Messiah, he said, be aware from false teacher who will come to you in a clothes of sheep, but they are wolves. And look what you do. The Catholic Church have millions of a priest, tens of millions, actually. So let us say from the tens of millions, there's, uh, let us say 10,000, they are criminals. This is still nothing. Imagine you have a country, you have a country, have let us say 30 million population and then you say to me uh, we found that there is a uh, uh, 10,000 of them are criminals that's nothing do you understand what I'm saying so if you want to judge you judge the majority not the minority what you are doing you are judging the minority you are judging the majority by the minority and that is hypocrisy. Do you understand me, guys? There's a child molesters everywhere. You can go right now and check. You will find priests who they are Protestant. You will find sheikhs who they are Muslims like Muhammad. You will find everywhere. But this is the biggest, biggest, biggest belief in the earth. The Catholic, until now, they are the biggest. And they have millions and millions of, of priests and nuns. It's a huge... And look, it's like, you know, you are judging a human body by a, by, by a mole in his body. This is how small they are in the body of the Catholic Church. But people, they, saw only, they, they, they see only the, pim the pimple in your face. They forgot that you have a nice face, but okay, you have a pimple. <laughs> right? Do you understand me, guys, what I'm saying? Don't be silly and don't be stupid. I'm not a Catholic, but I say things as it is. I don't care really for names of churches. If there is somebody is a child molester, he is a child molester, not the Catholic. Spit on his face. He will go and he will be with the devil. The Lord, he said, you will know them from their fruits. But that for every individual, not for a church name. What if you go to a church, let us say, you go to a church and you are Protestant, and then later we find that the, the, the Protestant priest was a child molester like Muhammad. Does that mean you are a child molester too? Are we following people? Be smart, be smart. Don't be silly and don't be naive. Judge individuals, not groups. 
if I am a bad person, does that mean Christ is a bad person? Let us do that to Christ too. Because here we go, the Muslim, they will say the same. They will say, okay, here we go. There is a, you know, there is a prostitute. She wear a cross. This is what you are doing. Does that mean Christ, he, he, taught, he taught those women to be prostitutes? What about we do that to Christ too? There's many, many hypocrites everywhere. So please, when you come to my chat, don't mention the word Catholic, don't mention the word Protestant, don't mention the word Orthodox. They don't count for me. What count for me is the name of Jesus. If you are a follower of Jesus, you are welcome to be with me, to support what I do, to stand with me. If you are a follower of a priest, go and take your priest with you. As simple as that. And I will be happy even if you stop donation donation for me. I don't want donation from people who support men, support God. Stand with you to believe, not with a with a, with a person who is a priest. Or you see, when somebody donate to me, you're not donating to me. You donate to what I do. You don't even know me. Do you know me? Like the gentleman here who gave just one hundred dollar. If he see me tomorrow in a coffee shop sitting next to him, he will not know that's the Christian prince. So why he? What made him take one hundred dollar from his pocket and give it to a person he do not know? Because he support the good cause I'm doing. So support the good cause, not a person. What people they do, they go against a person or against a, an individual, and they, they 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 make it like the issue we are fighting for. We are not fighting for people. We are not fighting for a human. We are not fighting for a guy. We are fighting for right and wrong. Stand with the one who stand for right against the wrong not for a title or for a group all of those who they are here they make a donation etc they don't even know who's a christian prince so what make those people take their money from their pocket and send it they know what he do So we have to be smart and we have, you know, in, in the Quran, let me show you what the Quran teach. Maybe some people here, they are new. The Quran says in chapter 5, verse number 14, that Allah will spread hate and enmity between the Christians until, one, until the judgment day. Which means, if you are a person who cannot even love your brother in Christ who is from different church, and you throw rocks at him, you are serving the devil, not Jesus. Read with me. Do you see it? Jesus says to us, love your enemy, which means even the Muslim, we have to love them. But suddenly you hate the Catholic, and suddenly the Catholic hate you as a Protestant. What kind of Christians, both of you? If you both practice that, both of you are not Christians. So you say to me, we should love the Muslims, but you say to me, we should hate the Catholic or we should hate the Protestant. What kind of a Christian we are? We love our enemy, but we cannot love our brother. And as you see, the plan of the devil in front of you, this is the Quran, Allah speaking, supposedly saying that I will spread hate and enmity between us until judgment day. So each one of you who spread hate and enmity between Christians is serving the devil, not Christ. And this is why I warn you against priests who teach hatred between the Christians. They are not serving Jesus. It doesn't matter if they are Catholic, Protestant, I don't care. I know, I know from both sides, people stop talking to me. They don't talk to me no more. They are priests. Why? Because I say what I just said. I don't care. Don't talk to me.
All right. My friend, why you want Skype to be online? Only Muslims can call me. Only Muslims can, uh, can call me. If you are a Muslim, tell me and I will let you call. I will call you back. We have a guy, his name is Ali. Let us see. He said, call me, but he is not answering now. Mr. Ali, you did not answer. Let us see another Muslim. Okay, that's why you have a very bad internet is not working. Let us see who else. <clears throat> if you're a Muslim only, you can call me. And don't send me links and etc. I will not open them. Anyone? So I want, you know, I want all the Christians to be united. I hate to see Christians are fighting together. This is a shame. I don't care if you're a Catholic or a Protestant. Who care? Who care? From their fruits, you shall know them. The Lord, he will not ask you what the church you go to. The Catholic, they believe in the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. They believe in the baptism. They believe that the, the Messiah was crucified. They believe that he's coming back. They believe in his resurrection. And you do the same. So look what we do. We look over. We, we try to find differences to fight. When we share the, the same Lord, the same belief, everything we have, but the priest, my friend, the priest is our problem. The priest who they are serving the devil, who divide us, who hate to see us united. I follow the Messiah. I don't care what the church you go to. All those names are not exist in the Bible. There's nothing called Catholic. There's nothing called Protestant. There's nothing called Orthodox. And heaven is the hand of God, not in the hand of a priest. Most of them, they are corrupt like Muhammad. They are businessmen. They speak about how much we should give to God. But all of them, they have nice houses, big houses like Muhammad, 13 houses. Anyone he say I don't like Catholic, I will ban you. Be careful. Don't say that in my text. In my, you know, you don't. But I don't like stupidity here. Who, 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 who are you to like Catholic or not to like them? Is that an ice cream? I mean, how stupid is that of you? What is this guy? What, what's his name? I don't like Catholic. Let me ban you. And and your name is Jesus Christ. You have no idea what Jesus Christ is about. How you are a follower of Jesus Christ and you said I don't like Catholic? If Jesus said to you, love your enemy, you idiot. You are a certified donkey. You are no Christian. Fake people. I don't like Catholic. And I don't like Protestant. Why? They are icy cream? They are people. They are human. Let us say they are even Buddhas. Madness, man. I feel sorry for the woman she will marry you. She will commit suicide after a second in the second day. Because after two days from marrying her, you will say to her, I don't like your family. I don't like your son. I don't like your face.
Do we have any Abdul here? No, the Catholic are people, my friend. The Catholic are not a bunch of goats. Somebody told you when somebody says he don't like the Catholic, he mean he mean a chair. The Catholic is more than a billion human being. So you are saying to me, I don't like one billion human beings. So what we would do for them? Should we call Hitler to call to, to kill them? <laughs> you see. I fight Islam, but I fight Christians too because the Christians many of them they are deceived by the devil Why the devil taking their children one by one trying to convert them to the cult of Islam or atheism or etc They are busy fighting each other, you know divide you conquer This is exactly who they are. They are naive. They have no idea a person who is fighting his brother in Christ is the same person, the same as a person who put his finger in his nose, digging for a bigger, and he thinks it's a salad, and then he put it in his mouth. And he enjoy it. Hmm. Anyway, in China they say he lived as a donkey, he never came back as a horse. So choose what you want to be. Take my advice, my friend. Don't be a Catholic, don't be a Protestant, don't be Orthodox. Priest, they will take you to hell. Jesus will take you to heaven. Follow the Messiah. Okay, anyone who attacked the Catholic or a Protestant, please admins ban him. Not put him time out, just ban him. Bye bye. This is what we do here. I don't allow people to divide us. I believe anyone who will attack the Protestant or the Catholic or the Orthodox, he is serving the devil, and I will smash you under my foot. You are not welcome here. The funny. Each time I do what I do today, I go and I find people, they say, I'm not going to donate to you no more. Please don't donate to me. I am not for sale, my friend. I, I am not owned by the Catholic. I am not owned by the Protestant. I am not owned by the Orthodox. I am owned by my Lord. Do your best. The Lord is my provider. All those people here are my beloved, and I never ask any one of them for the church they go to. Show me your fruits, I will tell you who you are. I'm not stupid, I am not silly. Only silly people, they see only in the front of them a Catholic. Catholic is a Christian person who loves Jesus, you idiot. Protestant is a, is a person who loves Jesus too. So shame on you. It's a shame. Imagine Christ is watching us right now and he's looking at you. Look at you. What he will say? Very sad. Yeah, we will ban. Anyone will attack the Catholic or Protestant or Orthodox, I will ban you. I don't care. Don't come here again. This is my rules. You don't like it? It's up to you. Leave. Go to a channel where people they fight each other and they bite like dogs. We don't do that here. Here, all of us, we are brothers and sisters. You don't like it, you leave. Is that clear? And by the way, there's many Muslims, they will come here and they will play Catholic and they will play Protestant so they can make you fight. They knew what they are doing. You know? He will come with a name and he will call himself Jesus Christ. You know, I don't like the Catholic. I grant you that this guy is a Muslim. You know? In order to make you to fight. And there's many naive of us. You know, they fail into the trap. 
very naive this is why the Muslim by the way they cannot find how they can fight me this guy he don't accept to uh, insult the Catholic his guy he don't take a side of a Protestant or Catholic or Orthodox this guy is going by what what his Lord taught him so how we can take him down All right And I don't like to see anyone say I'm a Catholic, I'm Protestant. Please keep those information for yourself. I do not need to know. You do not need to tell. What we care for here, my name is a Christian prince, not Catholic prince or Protestant prince. We remember that we belong to one name. The Bible says there is no Greek, there is no Hebrew, there is no free, there is no slave, there is no male, there is no female. For all of us one by him who is him Jesus so you make a decision you belong to who and then let me know anyone do we have any Muslim any Abdul you know I made videos how many of you watch how many of you heard, saw me making videos against someone is a Protestant and making videos against someone who is a uh, uh, Catholic and making videos against someone who is a Jew and making someone against somebody he is a peace shop he is an Orthodox I do go and search the internet I don't take a side you say something stupid I am all over you I don't care who you are My friend take no side but the side of the truth so you earn respect yourself and the Lord will count you when days come people who change their side because of hypocrisy it's like a party my party your party this is politics this is not about God no more the way I see you is how much you serve Jesus tell me how many people you brought to Christ and don't tell me about what a church you go to who care how what a church you go to let us see how many people you made them believe in Jesus What Jesus did anyone remember did what Jesus said when he washed the feet of his apostle who remember who can quote for us the verse if you don't do what I do they were telling him you want to wash our feet our Lord the Messiah he washed the feet and look what you do you don't wash the feet of anyone you will throw you throw shoes at people Do you understand what I'm saying to you? If you want to be really a teacher, you want to be someone people listen to, be a servant. Love them. Love people first. You see, the, the Jews, they made fun of Jesus because he was speaking to the one who is a sinner. I mean, how it, you, sinner, this is a guy, this is, do you know what you are talking to? Jesus said, I came to the sick. So let us say, let us say, this church or that church, they have a sickness. And you think you are the doctor, you are the healthy one. Well, they need you. Teach them, show them, love them. Don't throw rocks. Isn't it your Lord who said, I came to the sick one? And this is what we do with the Muslims. We don't hate the Muslims, and I will never hate the Muslims. I'm doing the order of my Lord who came for the sick one.
you know the Messiah when he was on the cross he said father forgive them they don't know what they are doing imagine people are crucifying him putting nails in his hands in his in his feet insulting him humiliating him and he is saying forgive them father they don't know what they are doing how many of us can do such a thing what the Catholic did to you or you want to go back in history and say there is a war and etc everybody committed crimes at that time when the Lord he taught us how to pray our father out of heaven what what he said in that prayer maybe the Christians or maybe some of us forgot what this prayer is about the most important part of this prayer is to forgive all of us we do wrong all of us we do sin all of us we do we harm somebody somehow so how we can be Christians if we cannot live as Jesus taught us to do, to be Matthew 6 take heed that ye do not your alms before men to be seen of them otherwise ye have no reward of your father which is in heaven therefore when thou doest thine alms do not sound a trumpet before thee as the hypocrites do in the synagogues and in the streets that they may have glory of men verily I say unto you they have their reward but when thou doest alms let not thy left hand know what thy right hand doeth that thine alms may be in secret and thy father which seeth in secret himself shall reward thee openly and when thou prayest thou shalt not be as the hypocrites are for they love to pray standing in the synagogues and in the corners of the streets that they may be seen of men verily i say unto you they have their reward but thou when thou prayest enter into thy closet and when thou hast shut to thy door Pray to thy father which is in secret, and thy father which seeth in secret shall reward thee openly. But when ye pray, use not vain repetitions as the heathen do, for they think that they shall be heard for their much speaking. Be not ye therefore like unto them, for your father knoweth what things ye have need of before ye ask him. After this manner therefore pray ye, Our Father, which art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory for ever. Amen. Amen. That is Jesus, my friend. Anyone he teach you something different as a lifestyle, he is not Christian. No matter who he is. You see, when I was like a teenage, I was wondering which one I should follow. I mean, Orthodox, Catholic, Protestant. And then I noticed that this is really not what Christ is about. The more I study, the more I learn, the more I notice that Christ, he did not want us to be any of this. He wanted us to be his followers. There's only one name to follow. All other names are fake and corrupt and sinners. Imagine I say to you, okay, I want to be your teacher and you follow me, but I am a sinner man. Should I count for you my sin? I mean, why you want to follow a sinner man? Why you trust a sinner man? I don't even I don't even trust 
my own self because I might get tempted tomorrow we have only one name to trust the Good Shepherd the good God so when you put your trust in the wrong place I feel sorry for you you will be very disappointed my friend we talk about Islam 24 hours seven days a week can't we talk about Jesus for two minutes like are you really in a rush come on uh, don't you have enough of me speaking about Islam <laughs> come on let us talk about Islam let us talk about Islam do you see the Muslims are fighting like coming like rain on me if somebody call me I will take him take it easy bring me Muslims here we go I'm here let us make hummus I would like to do hummus right now <clears throat> you know by the way I receive uh, <clears throat> I receive an email from a guy he said to me how you are an Arab and you support Israel I said I did not support Israel he said no you do I saw many videos of you I said no he said no yes I said no so he sent me in Skype he sent me my videos. He started looking for my video supporting Israel. I said, I'm not support Israel there. He said, So what you are saying? I said, This is the land of Israel. He said, Do you see? I said, I'm not support Israel. <laughs> I just said the truth. I support the truth, my friend. The truth is that this is the land of Israel. So do you see how the mentality work? For this guy, he see it as I'm supporting Israel. For me, I see it, I am supporting the truth. If this is the house of this guy, it doesn't matter who is this guy. He is the one who owned the house. I am a Christian person who support the truth. I don't support the person because he's a person. I support because what he belonged to or what he deserved. This is the land of the Jews. Who is the one who built Jerusalem? The Jews. So Jerusalem belong to who? To the Jews. People are funny. And sometimes people, they have a brain of a goat. Once I was in the Middle East. And the teacher he said the Jews they occupy Jerusalem the Jews they occupy so I said to him sir I have a page here I want you to see and he okay 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 he says and Solomon he built Jerusalem I said who is Solomon I said the uh, prophet Solomon I said yeah but who is he, he said, this prophet Solomon I said he's a Jew right he said yeah I said okay so why you are saying to us the Jews they occupy so they are the one who built the city this is their city Honest to God, he said to me, get out. Get out of the classroom. Get out. I said, okay, I'm getting out. Who okay. care? Got him busted. It's in the same book you are teaching us in the class. It says that the one who built Jerusalem is Suleiman. So why you are saying to us, this is not the land of Suleiman, if Suleiman is the one who built the city? History is written by corrupt people. Once our teacher was teaching us, you know, we have like a section about Arabic scientists or Arab scientists. And the and the teacher he wrote in the in the board, Al Khawarizmi. Huh. You know, I said to myself, Al Khawarizmi, Al Khawarizmi, Al Khawarizmi. What the heck does that mean? So I said, Sir, what does Khawarizmi mean? He said, uh, ah, it's mean he is from Khawarizm. I said, okay, and where is Khawarizm? He said, it's in Iran. I said, so why you are saying to us he's an Arab, he's an Arab scientist? <laughs> is he if he's from Iran? He's a Persian. Look at the corrupt. They are stealing names from the Persian just because they are scientists and they put them in our books, in the history books of the Arab, that they are Arab scientists. The guy is from Khawarizm. He is a Persian. His first name is Persian. His last name is a Persian. And he speak Persian only, and yet in our book he's an Arab. 
again he said to me you 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 know you you you, you ask too much okay sit down I said but sir this is a, you just said it's from Iran how does I said I don't know just I don't ask me they said he's an Arab it's an Arab that's it this is how our history is and who dare to question who dare they say to you al jabra to al jabra to the one who made al jabra to is a muslim the one who made al jabra to he is yazidi yazidi he is actually from the sabian specifically how you made him a muslim the guy is not an arab he don't even speak Arabic, which means it's not his first language. They speak Aramaic, and those people are Sabi and they are not Muslims. Well, we make him Muslim. Anyone in ten years from now, they will make Joe, uh, Steve, what his name, the one, the founder of Apple. They will make him a Muslim. Just wait. You know, his father is a Syrian, right? But this guy, he never grew up in a Muslim family. He never believed in Islam. But after fifty years, they will make a book about him that is uh, Job, uh, Steve Job, his name. They will give him a Muslim name and they will make him a Muslim. Just wait. There's there's a captain. There's a captain who uh, used to like to do program. Uh, the, uh, like um, it's like you know, like now we have like Discovery Channel, like you know, for nature. So he used to do a record in the sea in the ocean. His name is Captain Costo, I think. After the guy he died, they say he converted to Islam. Christian Prince, he will die one day. They will say he converted to Islam. Yeah. This is how uh, this is how the Middle East work. Lies, and you know, you repeat a lie one hundred times, you believe it. Everything is based on lies and stupidity. And the more stupid you are, the more smart you are. But uh, to be honest with you, the most funny schools in the world is, is the Middle Eastern schools. Unbelievable. Let us see this guy here. Are you a Muslim? See, I'm not allowing people to call me directly anymore because there's many they are calling just for fun and became too much. So now you have to contact me and then I can, I will call you back. Any one of you watch one day Al Qazafi when he was saying Al Qazafi is an Arab? Anyone, anyone saw the video of Al Qazafi? Actually, I tried to find it, but I could not find it. Al Qazafi was making a speech, and he said, "Everything the Western have is from us." As an example, Shakespeare. Shakespeare, his real name is Sheikh Isber. Shakespeare, his name, his real name is Sheikh Isber. Here we go. Even Shakespeare. Is a Muslim and his real name is an Arab, not only Muslim, he's an Arab and his real name is Sheikh Isper. And then Al Qazafi he said, Democracy, democracy, where, where did the Western the, the, the get the word democracy from? From democracy. Democracy means bring the chairs in our in, in the in the Libyan, uh, you know, democracy. What democracy have to democracy? Here, here we go, it's from us. Even democracy, you took it from Libya. From Al Qazafi. Welcome to the Shish Kebab land. <laughs> Honestly, yeah, like you, you die laughing. I mean, and and nobody dare to say anything. I mean, who dare? Who dare to say uh, this guy is a liar? I mean, do you dare? He will kill you and your family. They will disappear. Do we have any Abdul?
Yeah, everything is founded by them. But they will say to you, we are the one who created the number zero. My friend, since you created the number zero, you stay in zero. You are not the one who created zero. The funny, the Iranian, they are proud that they have a weapon now and they have missiles. But the, but the engine is made in Korea. Uh, even the fuel is not their own fuel. They don't know how to make a fuel for missiles. Uh, the ships is coming from uh, either from China or from Russia. I mean, the whole thing is like, is not made from them. So, and then they write the name of the missile, Allahu Akbar, they write Al Khomeini as an example, and that will make it Iranian missiles. Uh, the same uh, the same in Qatar in Qatar the uh, American companies they open branches there so they make the whole uh, let us say um, not tank I mean what they call them those ones for soldiers to carry soldiers I don't know what the name so uh, they are made in America but in Qatar they put them together but the one who work there even there is not even American and uh, not Qatari they are foreigners like from Philippines from etc and then they say this is made in Qatar Right. Yeah. Any Abdul? Man, 2019 is very dry. We we started the first two hours in 2019, and not not a single Muslim. <laughs> <coughs> And you know the funny thing about our people in the Middle East each time we lose a war we celebrate the lose you know they lost Jerusalem they celebrate Jerusalem lost they call it victory they lost in the 1973 they call it victory I mean each time they lose they claim that they they won what are you talking about like potato you just lost Jerusalem Allahu Akbar, brother, we be victorious, brother. What do you mean victorious? You lost the land in the size of Israel three times. Brother, we are victorious. Madness. Madness. The only people in the world who celebrate lose and they call it victory is Islamic countries, specifically Arab countries. The president of Syria, he celebrated victory in 1973, but he lost the Jolan Height, which is a very extremely strategic location. The Israeli now, they can see with their own telescope, people walking inside, inside, inside Damascus. This is how important those location is. But he claimed that he is victorious. Right. I, I saw that, Jack. I saw it. Actually, yes. In uh, in the nineteen forty eight. If you if you read if you actually there's a movie about it, about how Israel win the war. It was literally a miracle. Because it was a small, tiny army. They don't really have any arms. And then I think they got four volunteers, volunteers who float, they, they, they fly with their airplanes from USA all the way through the ocean, all the way to Israel. The first two airplanes, they, they've been destroyed like by accident in the first, I think, two days in the war. But the Arab Muslims, they thought that Israel have a lot of airplanes. So there was a huge caravan of army coming to attack. And then the two uh, airplanes, they start bombing. So the Arab, they said to himself, oh, oh, look what the two airplanes they did. Uh, they thought maybe they have a hundred of them. But this is the only two airplanes the Israeli army have. Which means if the Arab at that time, they continue, they really will win the war.
they will they will win guaranteed because the Jews are very small in number the the number of soldiers coming from the Muslims are by a huge number and they are no match no match no way two airplanes is the one who established Israel it made the, the Muslims believe that they have a lot of those and we better leave and run and this is history and the Jews they don't hide that they say you know you go go read their history they say this would happen you know and uh, and uh, and the Muslims they say to us how in the Bible in the Old Testament it says that your God will will uh, will, will, will will release the 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 lying spirit right or do you want to attack the ones who the Lord want to protect them you will be fooled you fooled yourself the lying spirit is upon you If the Lord he want Jerusalem to be this, uh, to be taken by the Muslims they will take it you know as long as long there's still people in this country believe in the Lord Israel will still will stay exist the day the whole country will forsake the Lord the whole country will collapse Okay, Timothy, it's time for you to go, my friend. You see, I know how the evil won right away. We are not talking about the Catholic, and this guy start talking about Catholic. They are trying to disturb us in what we do. You are not welcome, my friend. In this place here, there is no Catholic, there is no Protestant. Anyone, anyone speak against Catholic or Protestant or Orthodox, I will send you free shipping and hand it into Allah. As simple as that. Is my warning clear? The second you attack, I will consider you a Muslim. I will consider you a Muslim trying to divide the Christians. I will kick you out. I will send you to Allah. Let Allah be happy with you. He will give you a hug, Allah. Look how stupid they are. We are showing them in the screen how Allah will spread hatred and enmity. And look what they do. Obviously, he's a Muslim. Even if you claim to be Christian, you are a Muslim for me. Because you are serving, you are serving the devil. You are serving Allah who want to string the Christians by enmity. Don't play with the Christian prince, my friend. Don't. Even Christian prince, he don't dare to play with the Christian prince. He will lose. You believe it, guys? Once I played chess with myself, I lost. Unbelievable. True story. Sahil Bukhari. Don't do that. Do we have any Muslim here? Of course, the Muslims. I mean, what's happening here? But one Musa. Uh, we go. We have a Muslim here. Hello? Are you there, my friend? Hello? Yes. Are you there? Oh, you have a bad... See how lucky we are? When we get the Muslim, he have a bad internet. Here we go. All right, take care. Look how lucky I am today. The first thing we need in order to win the war against the devil is to be united and then knowledge. A house which is divided, anyone can take it down. 
So we have to be a strong house. And this house have only one Lord. That is the Messiah. It's not a priest. It's not a Christian prince. It's none of us. Our guidance and our Lord is the Lord, the Messiah. So before we speak about knowledge, we have to have faith and we have to be strong and we have to be united so we can be divided and get busy fighting each other. Fight those who make you fight yourself. Because when you fight your brother in Christ, you are fighting yourself actually. You are hurting yourself. You think you are winning. You are losing. What some people do is like, you know, he have a mirror in the front of him and he shoot at the mirror and supposedly this is a different person. It's you. Different is in the front of you, there is an actual person. Let us love our brothers and sisters in Christ. Be united, be one by him. Do we have any Abdul? We are out of Abdul. Very dry. All the Abdul are drunk. All of them. You know, I wish one day I will be able to establish like an organization where all of us Christians can meet together and work together. And it doesn't matter. Nobody asks the other person what church you go to. Nobody care if you are a Protestant or a Catholic or an Orthodox. What we care for, how much we can serve and do better. How much we can compete with each other. Let us say, like sometimes I receive text from Christians saying to me, you should not say that to the Muslims. You are being somehow rude, etc. What about we compete about how to be nice and let us see if you can bring more Muslims to Christ more than me? Don't say to them the word I say, like he said to me, don't say ignorant. Okay, uh, you don't say it. Let us see how many people they will believe in Jesus because of you don't say ignorant, the word ignorant. You do it. Okay, a Muslim he said he will not call me now because he is saying, I respect that he is saying he is no match. So he said, give me two weeks from now. Okay. You know, it's a lot of vitamin, my friend. I advise you to take 20 years from now. You think in two weeks you can debate me? Give me a break. Quran talk about enmity among Christians, covenant, not people Allah caused, Protestant, worshiping Mary. Uh, Grace, that is very stupid of you, my friend, to say that the Catholic worship Mary. And let me make a challenge for you. Can you show me one Catholic page in the internet say we worship Mary? Can you find me one book says we worship Mary? Or you are a certified donkey who say things without knowing? Oh boy, we have a big storm. I hope it will not lose electricity. The wind is so strong. Who said to you that the Catholic they worship Mary, you idiot? Hmm? You want to say to me that the Catholic they pray saying Hail Mary? Don't you know that you edit that this is a verse in the Bible? Well, they don't worship a statues. I agree that, that the statues is wrong, but this is not worshiping statues. Don't lie. Don't lie. Please don't lie. If they don't worship Mary herself, they worship a statue. Come on. Don't be stupid, my friend. Be honest if you claim to be Christian. The Catholic, they have a trinity, and the trinity is the Son, the Father, and the Holy Spirit, not Mary. So stop being foolish. Same time, I warn you, Catholic make statues and worship Mary. Okay, get lost from here. You are a liar. 
they make statues yes but nobody worship Mary secondly I don't agree with making statues but you make statues too you have a statues in your home but you do not know the Catholic they make a statues of Mary because they love Mary you have in your house pictures of yourself pictures of your family so if you are allowing yourself to have a picture of your family well why you are being hypocrite why you take selfie and you isn't it the Bible says don't take images don't make images you will say to me I'm not taking images to worship yes you don't do and the Catholic they don't if there is a Catholic he worship a status that's mean he is no Christian as simple as that anyone who worship a status he is no Christian but I never heard of a Catholic he do so you will say to me that some they believe that uh, like uh, um, I saw some like statues they are crying blood is coming from their eyes I don't know how truthful that is but still nobody worship statues that's not true not to pray to Mary that's not a true the Catholic they ask Mary to pray for them they don't pray to Mary 